Amy. Welcome to the Village Green Lodge. Today we're going to make something a little different. It's not something we'd serve for breakfast, but it's one of our family's favorite dinners. We're going to make a pork tenderloin and spinach fried rice. What we're going to do first is we're going to start with about two tablespoons of cornstarch. Then we're going to add about three tablespoons of soy sauce. and about two tablespoons of sherry. And rather than buying the sherry that, that's for cooking, I like to just buy the sherry that they have in the, you know, in the liquor department because that doesn't have all the sodium in it that those other ones do. And mix those together here. And then we're gonna pour, I cut up pork tenderloin, about a pound of pork tenderloin. I cut it into little tiny, like two inch strips. Mix that in there. That go like that. Until it's all coated. Then what we're going to do is in a hot pan, if, whether you have a wok or whether you have just a big pan, you know, heat up a little bit of oil in there. And then we're going to put in our meat and that hot wok is going to just ooh, sear it real fast. <laughs> just kind of stir fry that. You want to cook this until the meat is white and it doesn't take more than three or four minutes to get your meat cooked but you just need to keep moving it in the pan. And then keep your, your heat on high. I'll let that go just a couple more minutes here until all those pieces turn nice and white. Okay, our meat is looking pretty good here. Now, just before it's done, we're gonna add about a half a cup of chopped onions. We'll put those in now, because that gives them a chance to just cook in with the meat and soften up a little bit. All right, so now what we're going to do is we're gonna take the meat, take it out of the pan. We're actually gonna put it in a bowl here, set it on the side. Turn the stove off a minute. Because what we're gonna do now is we're gonna cook four eggs in the pan. So fried rice usually has like an egg, scrambled egg type thing in there. Okay. And what's in there is okay because that's all the good flavor in the bottom of the pan. We're going to add a little more oil. Put the heat back on. And then we've got four eggs. We beat the eggs. Put those in here. And just scramble those up. to get all that good flavoring mixed in with them too because that's the good stuff. This is a great dinner to make when you, you get home from work and you've, you've only got a little time and you want to get something on the table because you can get this done in about 15 minutes. Okay, our eggs are scrambled and I'm just going to kind of spread them out in the pan. Now, you can do one of two things. You can take um, one of these wonderful packages of pre-made rice. I like to use the brown and wild rice, and you're just going to put that in there. Otherwise, if you want to just make some homemade rice, you know, make about a cup of rice, stir that in. And then we're going to put in, you can use either a 10-ounce package of frozen spinach, and you drain that, or you can use fresh spinach. You know, sometimes I'll alternate, dep just depending on what I have, but the fresh spinach cooks up fast, too. It only takes a couple minutes. Get that in there, and we're going to add our pork back in and just cook it all together a little bit longer. A few more minutes. And let those shrink up. Now, at this point, if you want to add a little bit more liquid, you can add... Um, a little beef broth here. And we're going to make a little sauce to go on top of this too. 
but the spinach just takes a couple minutes to cook in there. And it's good for you too. Now we're just going to let that sit on low here while we make our sauce. So we can keep going here. What we're going to do for our sauce, we're going to start with about two tablespoons of cornstarch and about a cup of beef broth. We're going to add about two tablespoons of soy sauce. And then optional, if you want to put a little bit more of that sherry in or not, I think it gives a good flavor. I'm just going to cook this up here until that just kind of thickens a little bit. Our sauce is all nice and thick. And our spinach is all reduced into the mixture. I'm going to plate this up here. And you have everything, your vegetables, your meat, your starch, all in one plate. A little of the sauce on top. And there you have our pork tenderloin and spinach fried rice. <laughs>